Hey guys, it is currently 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, this is my first day of medical school, so I am super stoked. I slept at around 1 a.m. last this morning because I don't really know why. I guess I was just super excited and sort of nervous to start school that I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, but yeah, I got some good sleep in. So I slept at 1, woke up at 8. So that's about 7 hours of sleep. So that's pretty decent for me. That should be able to take me throughout the day. Um, in terms of what my schedule looks like, um, it's actually pretty busy today but not so much in terms of content but in terms of just like the number of hours i'm going to be sitting down um so classes start at 10 30 a.m this morning and they they run until around 5 p.m um the good thing is i have a two hour break so it's not just from 10 to 5 that's a lot of hours um so i have a two hour break from 12 30 to, to around um i think 2 30 um, but i'm going to double check that on the schedule um yeah, but it should not be too bad. Today's mostly orientation stuff. Um, later on, I'll take you guys and show you guys the schedule a little bit closer to you see what we're doing. Um, but today should be pretty um, laid back in terms of the f because we're not actually having like real classes, but just like orientation and like introduction to the medical profession. So I'm excited, um, kind of debating what to do right now. Should I like, should I go to the gym in the morning before class or should I just sort of chill and get my mind ready um, this morning first? So I don't know, I guess I have to decide in the next like five minutes. Um, the gym is not so far away from my house so I can walk and get there in like 15 minutes. Um, so I don't know, I might do that just to get my energy levels up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna fix myself a quick breakfast. Um, I actually don't have my coffee machine. Um, I'm, I'm sort of debating whether to get like a coffee maker versus like the Keurig machine. I know the Keurig machine is pretty convenient and easy to use. Um, it gives you like quick coffee as opposed to like the coffee maker where you have to clean it. You put the ground coffee in and do all that stuff. I don't know if I want to take the time to do that. But at the same time, it looks like pretty nice to you to like go through the entire process of making coffee. So I don't know. And I'm actually going to take you guys with me to go make breakfast. So typically for breakfast, um, I don't know, I don't really eat anything heavy, most days to be honest. Hey guys, so it's currently 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, classes start in 30 minutes and you know, I've been trying to do better about just sort of being intentional about what I do in the morning. So. Um, I realized that I did not make my bed, but that's something I'm trying to do in the morning just because it gives you um, the sense that at least you're completing something. So even if the day doesn't go as planned, then you feel like you've done something. Um, so um, I'm gonna make my bed right now. I just sort of tidy up my room. You know, nothing crazy, probably gonna be less than five minutes. Um, get my mind right and just sort of get ready for classes. Starts in 30 minutes. All right guys, I'm just gonna show you my workspace. Um, so that's my laptop. I got this little laptop stand, pretty cheap from Amazon, um, but it's good. It helps you like sit sort of with your back straight and you don't have to like bend your back, which is bad for your spine apparently. So like it sort of puts the screen on the same level with your eyes so you don't have to strain your back. Um, and there is a TV actually, not a monitor because um, I realized they had this old Samsung 32 inch monitor um, from a while back. And I was like, I'm not gonna spend money in the monitor. So decided to use that. Um, it's just gonna be like for extended display so I can see things um, on my computer, um, on my computer like bigger, on the bigger screen. So it's pretty convenient for me right now, it works. Um, 
There is my chair. I'm thinking of getting like, I'm thinking of getting an ergonomic chair. Those ones that are really comfortable, just because I'm going to be sitting a whole, sitting a lot. And um, you know, I'm um, actually what I'm going to do is um, use a pillow so that you know my ass doesn't hurt all day. But yeah, it is currently 10:15. Classes start in about 15 minutes and what I'm gonna do right now actually is I'm gonna show you guys the calendar so, so this is the pre-matriculation website it's just like lists certain things we have to get completed um, before school like um, this certain videos title X title 9 videos important reminders surveys and things we have to do equipments like steth stethoscope and tuning forks that we have to buy so that's mostly, I've mostly done all that. I bought my team, I bought my stethoscope two days ago, so it's gonna come, but it's gonna come in the mail sometime this week. But let me go ahead and show you guys my schedule. So it's pretty convenient because I could sort of download the schedule to my computer, like from my school's website. Um, and as you see today, we have a dean's welcome at 10:30. Um, so it's gonna be like two hours, I think, 10.30 until 2.30, so. And then at 1.30, we have introduction to the profession opening session. Um, I think that's gonna be like probably two or three hours. Um, so from like 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. And after that, I have the last like peer-to-peer -peer meeting. It's like a debrief with um, an upper class medical student at about 4.30 p.m. Um, so that's the entire day. Good thing I have a break. As you can see, sort of if you look throughout the rest of the week, you see I have an anti-racism session, which I think is very relevant. Um, and just like academic societies welcome, so I split into different academic societies. Um, so the first thing mostly as you see is just like introduction to the medical profession. And then on Friday, we have the big day, which is the virtual white coat ceremony. So that's just gonna be online. I'm gonna have family and friends. Um, you know, I'll give I'll give family and friends a Zoom link to connect with me on that day. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I know it's different uh, because everything is virtual now, but I'm still trying to sort of enjoy the enjoy the moment and live it up as much as I can. So I'm gonna sort of get ready for the last few minutes before class, turn on my computer, and just like open up everything I need to. And I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is currently 12, 12 right now. Um, we just finished our orientation, sort of welcome session. So it was basically just a lot of um, talks by deans and leaders at Harvard Medical School talking about um, you know, what it means to be a Harvard Medical student, what it means to be a medical student, um, what, you know, what we've accomplished to get here. And they talked about this idea of the imposter syndrome, which means um, you feeling feelings of sort of guilt and basically feeling like you're you're not welcome um, where you are, feeling that you don't deserve the things you have achieved. Um, so, which is very apparently a very common feeling when you like reach a new milestone or like achievement in your life. It's easy to like get there and be like, "Wow, do I even belong here?" Um, so it was sort of comforting to hear that from them. Um, they talked about the history of Harvard Medical School. They gave us advice. Um, be kind, you know, work hard, have fun in medical school. Um, you know, it was interesting talking, it was interesting hearing about the history of Harvard Medical School and how, you know, Harvard has basically gone from a small pub in Boston to what it is now. Um, very, very interesting thoughts on the progress that's being made, but also like interesting to hear about the racial inequities that you know America had to deal with going through all that and you know I feel like some of that story and you know some of my other peers were sort of discussing that in our group chat about how the story they gave us of the history of Harvard Medical School seemed to you know downplay a little bit the the, the impact of you know, race and downplay the impact of you know race and slavery and how you know, black students got admitted to Harvard Medical School, but the admissions were rescinded due to, um, you know, white students not approving of it. So it just like a lot of 
um, I guess an appreciation for like the history. Some of it were really um, sad and cruel history of America. Um, but I guess that's part of medicine, and that's what you know we're going to be seeing in the in the medical. You know, but I guess that's part of medicine. I guess that's part of medicine, and that's what you know as doctors. You know, you're going to realize that you know even though medicine is going a long way, medicine is progressing. Um, there's still a lot of racial and other disparities and inequities in healthcare that still need to be addressed. So I'm excited. Um, right now it's 12:15, I guess. Um, we currently have an hour break before we go back um, for an introduction to the profession. Basically talking about like prof professionalism and compassionate care, um, I believe. So that starts back at 12. But um, yeah, for now I'm just gonna like chill on my couch for the one hour I have. I don't know, I might, I might also like make some lunch or something. But I'm just gonna like probably put on some TV and watch something. Hey guys, so I just changed my mind. Um, I was gonna watch Lanark's Hill, which is a um, medical TV drama, but more realistic. A lot of people have recommended it, so I recommend it actually. I watched the first episode, it was really good. Um, I was gonna watch Lennox Hill, which I'll probably still do when I come back. Um, but I'm gonna take a walk down the streets and go to like Jason's Deli or something and get some food um, for lunch since I have an hour before um, we come back. Um, I really don't wanna like be hungry. To be honest, I don't eat a lot, but I really don't wanna be hungry like once start, the next session starts. So I don't know, I think I'll just get some food. All right, guys, I'm currently walk, walking down to Jason's Deli right down the street. Oh, I don't know. I might get something else for lunch, but I'm glad I have a nice selection of restaurants I can get some food from. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm currently at Jason's Deli right now. Hey guys, so it is like 5 p.m. right now. We're done with um, the introduction to the medical profession session where we just talked about, you know, what it means to be a doctor. We had lots of engaging discussions about, you know, what we think a doctor should be. And um, it, was, it was great. We had sort of Zoom meetings and what I really liked was we had small break room sessions because Zoom with like almost 200 classmates can be a lot to handle um, but I like that we sort of spread um, split it up into several groups so I was in like a group of five other students and so so were other students it was nicer and easier to talk and like connect with people that way in smaller groups um, so I like that a lot and then after that we had like a debrief session where we just sort of got to know some other students um, this was led by a second year student um, so I really like that and yeah now I'm kind of exhausted really but um I'm ready to do something else just to sort of get my mind off of <laughs> looking at a computer all day. Um, what I'm going to do right now actually is go to the gym. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Uh, I guess later on I'll just come back from the gym, shower, um, eat, dinner, relax, and do some readings for tomorrow and call it a night. But yeah. Right guys, so um, now I'm about to head to the gym.
Hey guys, so finally done with my work out for today. Um, I just got home. It is currently 7.35 p.m. Um, it was a good workout. As you can see, I did a lot of shoulder work. Um, so, exhausted right now. I'm gonna take a shower and then probably do some readings for the night and call it a day. So, thank you guys for coming along with me and I'll see you guys soon.